Okay, that looks better. I took a longer break, you know? I just spent a lovely four weeks in Hungary. Within those four weeks, I made one video about things that Canadians do better or know better than Hungarians. This is a lovely Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna have enough time to edit this and make this and then the universe is gonna be in balance again. Here are five things to learn from Hungary. Number one, bubbly water. You can buy bubbly water in Canada, but it doesn't have a culture. In Hungary, it's such a big deal that it's, it's actually in color coded in the stores. The whole concept of having bubbly water in your everyday life is something that I really enjoy. It's just refreshing. If you put a little lemon in it, it's the bomb. I wish we had that here in Canada. Number two, gastronomical differences. And I know that most Canadians wouldn't really agree with me. You guys really like the mixture of sweet and salty, but just in general, you like sweet. I really love Canadian food, all the gravy kind of stuff. Our culture in Hungarian food is so much more diverse. Once I'm away from Hungary for quite some time, that's one of the major things that I really miss from Hungary, the food in general. I think our gastronomy is just amazing. It's just on a different level than what you guys have in Canada. And I'm sorry to say that. Third one, what the f is a liquor store. In Hungary, you go to any kind of store, any kind of big supermarkets or any kind of little grocery stores, you can buy booze. You can buy beer everywhere. You can buy different types of wine everywhere, champagne, you know, the basic ones. You can, you can buy it in any kind of store. And if you go to a bigger grocery store, that's where it has a big section of alcohol and that's where you can buy the, the more exclusive stuff. You can't even buy regular drinks in a liquor store. Like if you wanna have a cocktail party, let's say, you actually have to buy your booze, leave the liquor store and go to a supermarket to buy your orange juice or to buy your Coke or anything else. It's not protecting anyone because if Hungary, if you wanna buy booze underage, you still cannot buy booze underage. They still gonna ID you. I think it's completely unreasonable and I think we do that better in Hungary by not having liquor stores. Number four, drive it relating things. Let's start with the roundabouts, okay? Everyone knows that in Europe we have a lot of roundabouts and that's the same in Hungary. If you have an intersection that's a little more crowded than like the minimum, Usually we build a roundabout. Even I think the Midbusters had an episode where they proved that the roundabout system works better than the first come first serve system. In Fredericton we get a lot more roundabouts here. I don't mind the first come first serve system. If you have an intersection, the first car who gets there gets the right of way. I don't know how it would work in my country. I feel like it would be a little trickier. We are not that kind. The roundabouts are the future. They are the way to go and I think Canada knows that. I think we're gonna see a lot more roundabouts in the future, so uh, good job. The other thing is the highway speed limit, right? In Canada, the, the highest speed limit on highways is 110 km per hour. In Hungary, our speed limit is 130 km. I feel like in Canada, 110 is just a little slow. If you go 110, you are just slow, man. Everybody goes at least 120 on a highway here in Canada. You use a highway a lot here in Canada because pretty much that's the only way you can go from one city to the other. 120 or 125 k's as a speed limit would make a lot of difference. I think everybody would be completely fine driving the same way they did. It's just not they could legally drive the same way they did before. It's a small difference, but it is a difference and I think our way is better. I think Canadian highways could handle a lot more speed. 110. Okay, geez, that's a lot of talking. My mouth is getting dry, man. Number five, spas. Spas everywhere. We have a spa culture. If you go to Hungary as a tourist, probably the first thing you're gonna do is get into a spa, especially if you're in like a organized group or something, then you're definitely gonna visit a spa. Probably got that whole thing because the Turkish people, Turkey was all over us back then in, in the 1200s. I think, or in the middle of 1500s. Back then our country was big. It was big man. It was at least as big as one of your provinces. We even had a sea. <laughs> we even had a little chunk of seashore, which we don't have anymore, which is very sad. We might not have 
a lot of land like here. Oh my god, Canada is so big. When we traveled to Vancouver, we traveled eight hours and we were still in the same country. Like that's that's not normal. You guys have a big country and you guys have ocean and beaches. But we have spas, we have a lot of spas and I love it. I love saunas. I actually told the that whenever we move out of this basement, then I really want to find a house where I can build my own uh, sauna in it. You know, it doesn't have to be big, just a little sauna so I can start my day in 90 degrees every morning for 20 minutes. It's gonna make my heart strong. It's gonna make me sweat. There you have it. The universe is in balance again. Happy Labor Day, Canada. It's gonna be tomorrow. When you see this, probably it's already been done. Have you noticed? I have two screens. It's like a pro man. I'm doing it like a pro. Bye! Oh yeah, we got new neighbors. I have no idea who these people are. I don't know how it works when you get a new neighbor and in the movies, like, you know, like bake an apple pie and bring over, or should they come over? I don't know, I have no idea, but uh, we'll see how that story is gonna progress. I'm, I'm gonna let you know. Probably they're not serial killers because there are two kids in the neighborhood, so that's a good start, but we'll see how it goes.